Hey, fellow kids. What is going on, fellas, and welcome back to the Dreadnoughts franchise here on Madden 20. We have a lot of stuff to go through before we start our game. Keon Weathers, AFC defensive player, LaMarcus Dupree offense. Hey, coach, we got any plans for the bye week? I think a lot of the guys were hoping to get a little extra relaxation. Oh, yeah, of course, Kevin Huber. I only pay you guys $25 million a year. Just take the week off. Just relax. That's actually clutch to injury. And it is time to scout college players. Now, because we're in a bye week, that means, of course, double the storylines. We do definitely got to get O-line. That's one thing that we still need to work on. We got Ryan Hansen out of Tennessee. He looks good. Over in the dangerous SEC conference, the man known as Ryan Hansen, nicknamed Pancakes, has proven himself to be a round one lock this year. For a man named Pancake, he doesn't get a lot of pancakes, but it's more so the gaps that he opens up for his running backs, the time that he gives his quarterback. Unfortunately, Tennessee, though, is on a one and two start. They draw a pretty bad schedule. They've already played Bama. We'll see if they get shake back and maybe he can improve his spot in the draft a little bit. And then we only have crappy offensive lineman at the right tackle. Though Kirkland Paul out of Northwestern does look like a steal in the fifth. It's not like we have a fifth round pick, but we can work around that. If you're surprised that Orlando Sherwood is now a first round projected pick, then you should be. He owes all of that success to the right tackle in Kirkland Paul. He does more than your stereotypical offensive lineman. With the new scheme that they're running over in the Big Ten Conference, Kirkland routinely runs out and blocks on screen plays. And if they do hit a gap running up the right, then you know it's Kirkland who's already 20 yards upfield, somehow managing to get that extra block, contributing so much to Northwestern's current success. Oh, these are the messages that you guys told me about. Malik Jefferson, our outside linebacker. If I can put together another game like that against the Steelers, it'll go a long way towards establishing me as a leader. Have you seen Keon Weathers play? Hold the Steelers to less than 250 total yards. Our Russian attack was great last week, and I think LaMarcus was a big reason why, of course. Get LaMarcus Dupree two touchdowns or 100 yards. Get him 100 yards? He rushed for like 200 last week. This would be a good time to let you guys know that I have bumped it up to all Madden difficulty. I'm still rocking on the 10 minute quarters though. And yes, our worst fears are confirmed. We pay Joe Mixon this big contract and he's out for six weeks of the broken collarbone. So LaMarcus Dupree and Travion Williams out of Texas A&M, they got to step up in a big way. We need both sides of the snap. We need the D line and we need the offensive lineman. That's why I got to keep a close eye on Floyd Hooks as well as Josh Mann this week. Both of them jump out the block and they're both second round picks. Whoever wins this matchup today will solidify themselves as a top prospect. Josh Mann at left guard. Excellent at helping the Clemson running backs create gaps. On the other end, you have Floyd Hooks, who might as well have his own X-Factor ability double me. Cause this man gets double teamed routinely. You do not want to let this guy get fired up. Otherwise it's going to be a long day for the offense. So I wonder who wins that matchup. We got the ACC, we have the SEC. Are you rocking with Clemson or are you rocking with Florida? Because we will get the results next week. Joe Mixon's got an upgrade point. Can I upgrade his injury? Does he come back sooner or what? For those of you new to the channel, you wouldn't have a clue. But this number right here, 52, this is retired. This linebacker from Madden 17 was so good that I even got his Wisconsin jersey made. In real life, a fantasy player. It is time to jump into this game. First full game on all Madden difficulty. We got to get LaMarcus Dupree over 100 yards. And I am going to try and activate double me on AJ Green. Let's jump in on him, man. Let's go. Oh, this guy's strong. Gang signs. Don't mess with that guy on the Steelers, man. On the ground, man. Come on now. All right, third and six. We're looking for the pass. Looking for the interception, in other words. Big hit. Oh, he was out of bounds. No way, Jose. Juju can't keep his feet in. Come on, Johnny Mate. We need another touchdown. Go get it. Oh, really? Wow. Awesome. Crap. I want to try and change this to a run down the gut, but... Oh, Lumarcus, man. Oh, there we go. Broken tackle. Come on, O-line. Let's get the blocks. Let's get Lamarcus O's on it. There we go. Juke. Man, the Jukes feel slower on all matter. Not going to lie. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't want to... They didn't even give me an option to pass. You definitely feel the increase in difficulty, man. I promise you that much. 
Oh, he's going to get sacked, Geno Atkins. That's my boy right there. And we are just one sack away from activating his X-Factor ability. Let's get it. Well, that was a bad snap. He threw it out. What? In what universe is that not an interception? Oh, Ben's got his X-Factor. There we go in the backfield. Man, we got to get Ben out of his bloody... Yeah, that's not happening. That's a touchdown. Oh my goodness. Oh, I tried to throw it to R1. I guess that just went a little too much forward. This is the worst start in franchise history right here. And it's going to continue to get worse. I would absolutely love a Keo Weathers interception right now. Oh, I just picked it off. With the bloody D lineman. Oh, he's going to take it back. Big man touchdown. Christian Peters. If you watch that back, I accidentally clicked onto the D line and got a pick with it. All right. We've been gifted a chance. Come on. Turn this into something good. Okay. The run game is not the way to go. And LaMarcus is injured. I'm just going to throw it up to AJ. They don't have the safety help. Let's go. Come on. I ain't scared. That's what I'm talking about, AJ. This just became a passing game really, really quick, huh? I loved watching Travion play in college, but we got to make some plays right here. Nope. Oh, and that was overthrown on the run. Wow. Can somebody catch him? Can John run? Throw on the run! And it's overthrown again. Oh, I mean, that's a really hard pass, but if he fit that in there... And everybody's tired. Where is everybody on the field, mate? Good catch by Drew Sample. We're going to have to punt it back to him, though. It's a little bit risky playing the, the complete blitz, but... We catch a break! Ben Roethlisberger gonna miss the pass. That makes me feel a million times better about Mario having a bad game right there. Well, let's go, Travion. That's the kind of plays we need. Just so we're all on the same page, we get the ball to start the second half, right? So let's try and make this the last drive of the half. Okay, come on, take that. Got the speed, get the first! The little man, the third string, is going to try and make two 20-yard catches to get this thing available. There we go. Look at AJ. Look at AJ. Possession catch. He's got it. Coming into his own on the field. He's in the zone. It's a GG now. I mean, he's tired, but I'm literally going to put it up to him right here. Oh, oh, okay. And now he's out of it all of a sudden. My patience with Mario is really running thin right now. It is running so thin right now. Just run it in, please. Oh, and don't fumble it on the way in. Thank you. We are somehow not out of this game yet. And I keep taking my guy off. Oh, he picked it. Let's go, pick six. Jackson, go, 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 go. It is amazing how things can change. Mario threw a pick six off an overthrow. Now Big Ben gets the overthrow and it's pick six. This game has been all kinds of crazy. I'm talking every kind of crazy right now. Across the middle. Oh, I thought he was going to throw that. God! Okay. At least make the tackle. Got the blitz coming in on the right. Even the cornerback is blitzing. There it goes right there. Give me that, baby. Let's go. Come on, Keon. Oh, look at the moves. Oh, I should have just taken it down. Nevertheless, that's pick number six on the year. And it's ironic because we don't have a pick six. We've got to make two 20-yard catches. But uh, I don't really have the routes, if that makes sense. Like, I can throw it up to him. But that's pretty much, that's where my uh, thing ends. Let's go. Oh, what? They only got one safety D. Go, Boyd. Man, he's incredibly slow. 
Wow, what an awful, just disgusting pass. Travion's tired. Don't we have like a backup for scenarios like this? Oh wait, they're all injured. Oh Mario, just take off. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna try and hit him with the fade pass if Mario can put it on the money. Dude, please, Mario, please. The passes aren't even remotely close. Fit it in. Oh, he got it, AJ Green. That was a close one, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yes, oh! Big Ed, this double coverage. There we go. Oh, no way AJ came down with that. I'm going straight back to the same play. If AJ's making catches like that, I knew there was a reason I re-signed him. You know what I mean? Let's take that. Let's go, Ebron. First down. I really don't like the makeup of this play at all, but... Come on, that's overthrown again, my guy. That's cheesy right there. I don't think that's fair to the Steelers at all. I did not see any pass interference. The game, that's a bug if I've ever seen it. Travion in the end zone. Let's go. Oh, okay. Good play, good play. Uh-oh. I think Big Ben's heating up. I need to get whatever ability Big Ben has because it is always switched on, no matter what. Come on, Keon, take him down. There we go. You got the flat. Oh, crap. Double slant. Okay. The yards are so close. It's crazy. We're at, this is a good matchup right here. Go, Travion. Oh, crap. Oh, he picked it up. Woo! My heart just sunk into my chest right there. Come on, let's make the short reads. We only need bloody nine yards. There we go, John Ross, you're not catching him. He's gone, mate. The simple corner route. Come on. That's a touchdown. I love having Johnny Ross on the squad. Always has potential to make a play. The good thing is they're kind of just running the clock down despite needing two touchdowns. I mean, it's third down anyway, so we get the stop here. Oh, we're not going to get it. Because he's got this X-Factor ability, like he wouldn't dream of throwing that pass, you know, because he knows I'm going to pick it off. Man, how many good running backs do they have? I think it might be time to start running out this clock. I'm not trying to let Pittsburgh get the ball back. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Go trade a third round pick. Go get John Ross on your franchise team. Ah. Oh, big hit, bud. Shouldn't that be a fumble? Nah, nah. See, you can't, you can't make that pass, man. You can't make the pass. Gino coming for that ass. Oh, good pass. Big Ed, come on. Ah, again, the same animation, though. Oh, look at the comeback. If he had better agility, he'd be... Ah, that should have been me. Oh, that's another fumble. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> How embarrassing. Imagine. Playmaker. Oh, what a play. I'm actually going to go ahead and simulate the rest of this game because uh, it's going on forever. And let's be honest, they're not coming back. I think eight minute quarters might be the way to go just so the scores are a bit more realistic. 
Looking at the stats on the day, Big Ben, three turnovers in that game. Mario with a 120.8 passer rating, two touchdowns, one pick, 65% completion. He started off really sloppy and then really came into his own. On the Russian end, Travion Williams filling in for the injured LaMarcus Dupree, who was filling in for the injured Joe Mixon. Had 71 yards and a touchdown. On the receiving end, AJ Green, mate. John Ross had a pretty nice play as well, but I mean, AJ Green is just a freak, dude. And if you think that's that's crazy. Wait until we get double me. He will catch it over anybody. Blocking, Jeremy Jordan let in a sack. On the defensive end, Preston Brown, 10 total tackles. We had uh, Darquise Denard with eight. Keo Weathers had eight total tackles today. Also had an interception. William Jackson, as well as uh, Christian Peters. That was probably the biggest surprise of the game. The left end, who's appropriately sized like a linebacker, had a pick in that game. But that being said, fellas, that's going to wrap up this episode of the Dreadnoughts franchise. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.